guys and welcome back to another reaction thoughts today we have uh prey which is the predator prequel uh this is the official trailer uh by hulu uh it's going to be obviously streamed uh a streaming movie uh and i'm pretty anticipated for this because the past few predator movies haven't been the best uh i love the first two uh predators is fine it's again not the best it's got a lot of callbacks to the first movie it's fine for what it is and the shane black one the predator i didn't even bother watching it just looked like a shit show so i didn't want to waste my time with it and uh so far i like the concept of uh what they're showing uh with this i guess you could say it's a movie it's just a streamable movie uh it's set 300 years ago in uh, America with the Kamashi Nation, so the indigenous Americans, and I like that concept. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan of the Dark Horse comics, and I love the 1718 comic, which was a prequel to Predator 2 with the Elder Predator. Uh, it was kind of a backstory for that, and because Back then, they didn't want to fund that movie. Dark Horse took that script and turned it into the famous comic. And I've always loved these kind of timepiece things they can do with this uh, franchise, where the original one was set for the present uh, during that time. So 1987, it was based on that era. Then you had Predator 2, which was made in 1990 but it was the actual time period that movie was based on was 97 or 98 so it was kind of seven eight years in the future from uh obviously it's release date and then predators is kind of just an elseworld outer space type of version i guess so I, i've always liked these different periodic times that the predators franchise has give, given us and I like that they've gone back in time now and hopefully we get more of this if this movie is good of course if it's bad then like I said when The Predator came out they should just bury this whole franchise uh, but again if this is worthy of a movie and if it is good then I would hope to see more so if you guys do enjoy this Make sure you like and sub. Uh, the video will go here and we'll get right into it. Why do you want to hunt? Because you all think that I can't. Okay, it's in English. Okay. I saw a sign in the sky. I'm ready. Maui, Nita. Okay, they're mixing the languages by the looks of it. That's nice. That looks pretty good, CGI guys. something out there. I'm coming with you. You can't. I'm trying to protect you. Protect me from what? <laughs> it's time. That's such an iconic growl though. I love that. Oh, we shot. Okay. Oh, that's nice. It knows how to hunt. I know how to survive. The colonizers. 
It was. Ooh, I did this. I can kill it. Nice. So that was pretty much the video there, the trailer. Uh, I really, really like it. Uh, I'm pretty anticipated for this movie. Uh, simply because I love the Predator world. I love the Alien world as well. I just love that whole uh, franchise. And I love the Dark Horse comics. Uh, I think a lot of people might complain that it's only on Hulu. Uh, I'm actually fine with that because I think horror movies today benefit from being low, lower budget and having the script being the main push in a movie. Like, you get movies like Color Out of Space, uh, Hereditary, uh, stuff in that realm that are lower budget horror movies, but because they're lower budget, they have to amp up on the script, and I think that's what they might be doing with this, and I'm all fine with that, because again, I would I would argue and say some of the best horror movies are the most low, lowest budget of them all. And I think uh, what else stuck to me in this was uh, they're speaking English and it's like, okay, obviously they they want to appeal to the mass majority audience, which are English speakers, but they did mix a bit of the Kamashi language in there, so I'm pretty uh, excited to see if they're going to mix the two together. Uh, I would love if they went full Apocalypto and done the whole native language, but obviously they want to appeal to a mass majority audience. Uh, Apocalypto again is a much lower budget indie style movie where uh, you could probably get away with having the whole movie not be in predominant English. So, you know, I'm fine with it. And then also I think another complaint is obviously the, the main plot and drive to this movie from what we've seen is it's based around uh, a Kamashi uh, female lead and am I upset with that? Not really. Uh, again, Predator is just basically an alien species going, coming down to Earth or multiple other planets going by the comics and just finding a challenge and whatever it is what it is, you know. Uh, I'm not going to be angry yet because I haven't seen anything, but uh, it's not like this is like the first time that this has happened in Predator lore. Like, uh, Machiko is probably the most popular female character. She's probably one of the most popular human characters in the Predator comics. And obviously she's a female and she was pretty badass, but uh, I don't have a problem with them doing that. I don't see a problem. Again, I have to see the story and obviously it's coming out in a couple of months. So we're going to see that and then I'll reserve judgment until I see it, you know. And uh, I think also another interesting thing about this movie is because I can see on the YouTube trailer, uh, one of the tags, it says Disney. And it's interesting that Disney have even slapped their name on this. Obviously, they didn't have logos on the actual trailer. It's just on the tag on the YouTube page. But from what I remember hearing maybe one, two years ago, this movie was written by Fox right before the merger. So Disney, I don't think had anything to do with this. That's probably why it's actually not a, a movie, not a feature length movie and being played in cinemas because that was probably the trade off where Disney said, because you've already greenlit this, they said that the Fox Studios uh, because it's already been greenlit and it's in production and all that, we will allow you to make the movie, but it's not going to go on cinemas. And I feel Disney have probably done that. Uh, which, going by that, and again, I don't definitively know, but I'm only speculating. But if that's true, uh, that means Disney is, a, is not part of this. And I kind of like it like that, where hopefully the guys that did write this at 20th Century Fox before the merger, done something that is, you know, truthful to the fan base and uh, 
not destroying it like Shane Black's movie did. And also Predators was kind of 50-50 as well. Even though I personally like it as like a, a homage to the first movie, but it didn't really add anything new. Uh, aside from the bad blood Predators, but again, that was so quickly shoved in the movie, I think. That could have fleshed that story out a bit better than that. But uh, aside from that, I'm really, really liking the look of this. And again, I think it's a really good thing that they've gone kind of the prequel way, I guess you can say, and gone back in time. Because I've kind of had enough with like AVP Requiem and the first AVP being set kind of in a similar timeline. I would rather something now really, really back in time or even maybe go in the future like the AVP movies were supposed to be from the comics. They're supposed to be years advanced in the future. So I'd like either of those two, not something present because I think it's too repetitive when it comes to just the present now. And also from what I'm seeing from the actual trailer, uh, this Predator's doing like somersaults and like jumping from tree to tree. Uh, the Predator's also like disarming weapons and like uh, using that to its own advantage and then killing what looks like British colonizers. I, I guess that's what they are. Invaders. They're obviously not Native Americans. They look because they wear they got muskets and uh, flintlock pistols and all that. So it's definitely not Indigenous Americans. But uh, from what I'm seeing from this trailer, this looks like uh, the most skilled predator I think I've seen in the movies aside from wolf from avp2 but uh again we really didn't see much from wolf even though he's probably the best my favorite one and also the elder predator but this one looks the most skilled because it's disarming soldiers very, really fast and quick so it would be I would be pretty upset if this predator gets killed, like every other predator in a movie. I, I would hope that either it, it comes to two uh, scenarios where either the predator kills everyone, including this girl, or somehow they both get wounded and the predator escapes. I would much rather that. I don't want another predator to die. Uh, like, like I said, like basically every other movie. Aside from the second movie, uh, actually no, Danny Glover did kill the Predator from the second movie. It's just the other Elder Predators and uh, Shadow and all that came out. Uh, the original script for Predator 2 was the Elder Predator that was supposed to mercy kill the City Hunter, but obviously they scrapped that and they made Danny Glover kill him. But Again, I don't want that again repeated in this movie where uh, the hero kills the predator. I'd much rather it that either the main character dies or they both live and escape. I'd much rather that and hopefully we get that. And uh, also what else I found pretty unique is the actual weaponry the predator has. It looks a bit different from what we're used to. Uh, obviously you got like the combi stick and uh, the shuriken blades or the, you know, the traditional blades that spikes that come out of the wrists. They're all there and they're pretty much staple predator gear. The plasma caster, I, I guess is there. We couldn't really see it that much, but what was interesting with the plasma caster, if that's what it was, it was shooting red beams instead of the blue white beams that it usually shoots. So maybe this is Again, this is 300 years in the past, so maybe this is more primitive weapons that the Predator had, and obviously it's 300 years, so that's a long time for them to advance to what we're used to in uh, the first movie and the second movie. But that's really interesting to see. Also, this Predator seems to have a shield. Uh, it looked like it was made out of bone, but it could have not been made out of bone. Maybe I was just looking at it uh, differently because it was a pretty quick shot so maybe I missed it uh, also it looks like it's got a, a 
It looks like a skull on top of its biomask. I'm assuming that it might be a bear, the bear that it killed. Maybe this predator took it as a trophy and customized the biomask and put it on top. Again, I really like that too. Uh, like I said, the, the first Predator movie and the second Predator movie have the best designs. And all of them from both movies, all the Predators that are featured in those two movies have very unique looks uh, with the costuming, the weapons and the biomasks. So, I'm fine with this one having a very unique mask. And that's what makes them interesting as well, because it makes them more individually unique. Also, as well, what I've seen is this Predator has longer dreadlocks from the looks of it. So, the locks are much longer. So, I'm thinking, is this a female Predator? But then... That might be a bit of an issue as well if that if it is a female predator because they don't hunt going by the comics and what the law has built. And this looks a bit short for a female predator. Uh, the females are pretty much taller from what I remember. They were reaching like 10 plus foot while the predators that we've seen in the movies are like 7, 8, 9, you know. So that would be a bit of a issue if it is a female, just because of the size difference, not because it, it's here in the movie. Because again, that would be really interesting to see as well, because we haven't really seen that in movie wise. Obviously we've got years of comics, but again, I'm, I'm really excited about this. Uh, I'm, I'm also going to be caution, cautiously optimistic as well, where I don't want to put too much hope in this because we haven't really gotten a good track record for Predator movies lately. Uh, and also because the Disney input, I'm kind of thinking how much have they influenced and dictated to cut or to add kind of weird stuff in it. Or maybe just not even that. Maybe just trends that this movie have thrown in just because of trends and uh, political shit and all that. But again, I'm, I don't want to get into that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much my uh, thoughts on this. Uh, and yeah, I'm pretty much excited uh, to see this. So if you guys did enjoy this, make sure you like and sub and I'll see you in the next one.